The cloud the Mother of God has been standing on has now become a globe. Italy started to get bigger. I saw Rome and the Vatican. Then I saw an assembly room. A number of cardinals were involved in a discussion. They were discussing the unification of the Holy Mass, the liturgy of the Holy Mass not including the Holy Eucharist. They only wanted to share some bread because many people did not believe in the Eucharist anymore. The Mother of God, various saints, Pope Pius XII and the Archangel Gabriel appeared in Sivernich between June 2000 and October 2005 to an ordinary mother called Manuela. On October 3, 2005, Our Lady appeared for the last time. However, she promised always to be present in Sivernich. Manuela received messages from the Blessed Mother, from saints and now and then from Jesus himself. These messages, though varied, never transcend the truths that have always constituted the teachings of the Roman Catholic Church. Here now are a few of these messages that stand out from the rest. On Monday, March 5, 2001, the eighth meeting of the Blue Oasis took place in the Church of Sivernich. I felt a great warmth. Then I saw the Mother of God descending down from heaven on a golden ray of light. She stood still on the left of the altar. The Holy Virgin was wearing a sky-blue coat and a white gown. The coat was decorated with a golden ornament at the seam. She held a golden rosary in her hands. Her hands were folded in prayer. Then she looked at us. She stood on a cloud, her left foot standing on a golden rose. She said, I greet you and I bless you, my children. I am Mary, the Immaculate Mary, the Mother of God. My Divine Son, Jesus Christ, sends me to you, dear children. He loves you very much. I'm entirely devoted to His will. He is your salvation. Confide yourself to Him. I would love so much to be your mother. Come to me, my children, and I will dry your tears, and I will take you to my beloved Son, Jesus. She approached every one of us and blessed us with a cross on the front. Two angels dressed in white were walking behind her. They had golden bowls in their hands. They returned to the altar and stood on the left of the altar. She said, Dear children, a time of penance and fasting has been given to you on earth. Make good use of this time. Find the way to my son. I'd like to help you. I want to be your door, the door you will pass to meet my divine son. I am the door. My divine son is the way. Look, I gave you a hint. It is the will of my Divine Son that you accept the work the Holy Ghost does on you, that you accept His healing power, His salvation. Say the prayers that are within my Son and that my Son has given to you. A very personal message. It is time for you to unite in prayer for salvation. I will support you in your prayers. I will pray with you. The Church is in trouble. This is why I am at work and this is why I am with you. The earth, the world, has turned into a desert without faith. I want to re-fertilize this world for my son. I plant seeds everywhere I go. This is how oases of prayer come into being all over the world. Children, do not lose your heart. Look carefully at the time my divine son was on earth. You are not alone. The adversary fills your hearts with doubts and wants to get you away from the right way. Jesus. Do not let him mislead and deceive you. The adversary wants to discourage you. It is him who wants to open your hearts for lethargy, tepidity, and indifference. But I won't let him do so in the name of my divine son, Jesus Christ. I am with you. I guide you and I guide the church, the church of my son, Jesus Christ, who loves you very much. He cares for you like a father if you let him do so. If you let me and him guide you, you will be healed. I will not let darkness take control of the church completely. 
everything that is sick will be destroyed. But look, dear children, how much my son cares for you. He gives you his mother to prepare you for his arrival. I plant seeds. I build oases of heaven and of love. They are supposed to strengthen those that are loyal. They are to strengthen the church. I will make you strong, spiritually strong. Trust me and trust my divine son. I can only repeat, be like children and let us, me and my son, guide you. The world does not give to you what the Father gives to you. My son's way is uncomfortable. The ways of the world are comfortable. But if you choose to come to my son, I will go with you. I will help you. With my help, you will be able to walk this uncomfortable way without worrying. I am your mother. I love you, my children. Dear children, if you are exposed to temptation, especially while you're still on earth, do not stop to pray. I am with you. I cannot tell you so often enough. Call me, children. If you need help, I'll be there for you, children. The cloud the Mother of God has been standing on has now become a globe. Italy started to get bigger. I saw Rome and the Vatican. Then I saw an assembly room. A number of cardinals were involved in a discussion. They were discussing the unification of the Holy Mass, the liturgy of the Holy Mass not including the Holy Eucharist. They only wanted to share some bread because many people did not believe in the Eucharist anymore. The Mother of God said, We are approaching the end of the Church, at least this is what those that have remained loyal believe. Those who do not believe in God consider this to be a chance to open the Church for the layman, but I shall oppose this development. It will not succeed in destroying the Church, the Body of Christ. The globe started to turn and became a huge sun. It was floating in the air right above the middle of the altar. In the sun you could see the letters J-H-S. The Mother of God blessed us. She became very bright and vanished. Sivernich, Monday, October 7, 2002. I am greeted by Our Lady in a particular place in Sivernich to which she had asked me to come. I can see three lightning flashes in the sky followed by the Immaculate One descending to me. She steps out towards me from an oval light she is very close to me. I feel as if electrified. She says to me, Greetings, my little prayer bead. I am Mary Immaculate, Mary, the Mother of God. Here I am handing over to you the keys of my beloved Divine Son, Jesus Christ. Remain silent about this. Remain silent. The keys will serve you as a weapon against all darkness. You now know what will happen. Only your Holy Father in Rome, my beloved Shepherd, will receive these keys from me. Please remain silent. You will not be believed, yet everything will come to pass in this way. On a side note, here the keys represent three secrets concerning the world and the Church that were written out and given to St. John Paul II during his audience in 2004, but when the seer was presented to Cardinal Ratzinger, she fell to her knees and called him Holy Father foretelling that she knew he would become the next pontiff. Our Lady continues, I will now go to my children in order to bless all those who have come to me. I bless you too, little bead, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My priests, my priests, I am inviting you to come to me. I am your mother. Do not abandon my son, Jesus. He is my divine, much-loved son. He is your king, a king of regal simplicity. I bless your devoted helpers. Today I shall go to a woman whose son is sick. They both came to me today. My beloved son's blessing be with you, just as I am with you. Go now to the church. The mother of God goes ahead of me. I follow. She goes to the people waiting outside and blesses them. She leads the way to the sacristy. Inside the church, I see the Immaculate One gliding through the nave, blessing everyone in passing. She enters the sanctuary, accompanied by two angels who followed on a little behind her. She says, My child, 
You have now received my keys. Do not worry. Everything must take its necessary course. I am the Queen of Heaven, Mary Immaculate. Dear children, I invite you to come to Sivernich. Pray and come to my church, the church of my beloved Divine Son. In this church you receive from me my beloved Divine Son's graces. I have come to you today in order to heal your wounds. Pray, children, pray. You need only to plead from the heart and my Son will grant you many graces. Today, a woman here present is the recipient of the gift of peace of mind. This gift for me through my Divine Son Jesus has lifted the burden which has troubled her. On December 2nd, 2019, Jesus announced three difficult years. At that time, no one suspected anything about the pandemic, much less about the natural disaster in the summer of 2021 in Germany. He said, I will carry you through this tribulation, through the darkness. By my precious blood, I have redeemed them. And he was very hurt by the massive interruption of pregnancies. You understand, right? Talking about the culture of death. On March 21st, 2020, the Christ child said, A time of penance and reflection will strengthen my faithful. For humanity, it is the call to conversion from their sins. If humanity does not convert after this time of repentance, I will lower my scepter over humanity. This is my call for you, not to punish you. I want to save you for eternal life. I have allowed the time for repentance and remorse to come in and consider that they are not God. And on December 8th of that year, the church decreed a special year dedicated to St. Joseph. On October 5th, 2020, some 60 faithful and religious witnessed the miracle of the sun while praying with Manuela. And the child made a clear mention of the warning prophesied in Garabandal, which Manuela did not know. He said, When I warn the world, it will be for you as if time stood still, and so you will look at your own soul, reinforcing the idea expressed by Conchita that the warning is a limited punishment. In the apparition on January 6, 2021, the boy told him, The world will be shaken, because people do not know my Eternal Father and want to live without him, everything will be purified. This must be done as written. A great commotion will soon occur, a commotion that will become the abyss for many people. You have the hope that soon everything will return to the way it was before. This, dear souls, will not be so. Pray and sacrifice. Be faithful to me. On February 2nd, 2021, he said, This year a great trial will come. And called for three hours of prayer for reparation for May 13th, he said, Prayer, sacrifice, penance. Pray with me to the Eternal Father. Manuela then explained that the Lord told her that in the next few days there will be strong storms and that people should pray a lot, and that after saying goodbye, the boy added, Know that you live in the time of plagues, and this plague that you're experiencing will not be the last plague. You are in tribulation, but I will protect you with the mantle of my precious blood. And on May 9th and 10th, German priests did a massive blessing in their temples for non-heterosexual couples. And on the night of July 14th to the 15th, the floodgates of heaven opened in Western Germany, and there was a flood like never before recorded in history, which was repeated in many parts of the world. And on April 12th, 2021, during the Holy Mass, the child dipped his scepter in the chalice with the blood of Jesus, which the priest held in his hands, and sprinkled some countries of the earth, Russia, Ukraine, USA, and Europe, and said, Many people are worried about their lives, and they don't realize that Satan is trying to lead them to war. This spark of the enemy could light up the entire world. This spark can become a scourge for the entire earth. And asked, Pray, make sacrifices, repent, do good. And on February 24, 2022, Russia would invade Ukraine.
Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. We are thrilled to be releasing our latest prayer book titled The Most Holy Rosary Prayers and Mystical Meditations of Saints and Seers. The Most Holy Rosary is one of the greatest prayers in the history of the Church. Garnished as it is with the testimony of saints and popes for the last thousand years, the only prayers that could be said to be greater are those of the Mass and the Divine Office, yet many still seek ways to enter into the deeper mansions of spiritual richness to be found in this devotion. To assist with this process, Mother and Refuge of the End Times has compiled revelations and meditations from some of the most notable and popular Catholic mystics and saints. These mystics were gifted with first-hand revelations by means of visions and apparitions of the life of our Lord Jesus and His Holy Mother. We have selected some writings from these remarkable revelations to assist in the meditation of each of the 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The main mystic meditations featured are St. Padre Pio, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, Servant of God, Don Delindo Rotolo, Servant of God Luisa Picaretta, Maria Valtorta, and others. In addition, this unique rosary prayer book contains both the Latin and English prayers of the rosary. It has been originally illustrated by our own Catholic religious illustrator with over 23 inspiring illustrations that will surely lift your hearts in prayer and in fervor. This is a rosary prayer book that will surely be a classic. As always, we thank you all for your continued support of our prayer book ministry and our channel. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.